Hello everyone, friends. My name is JJ, and today my friend Mikey is with me. JJ, what are we going to do today? Today we have a very important and secret matter, but I can't tell you about it yet. But why? I'm very interested, JJ. Please tell me. What are you talking about? Mikey, stop asking your stupid questions. I'll tell you everything when the time comes. Okay, JJ, excuse me. Just don't shout, please. Wow, what? Mikey, can you see? Who is this? Look, it's the maid. Wow, yes, I see her. She is very beautiful. Let's come and meet her. Yes, Mikey. Mikey, you're right. She really is very beautiful. I need to get to know her, but what should I talk to her about? Don't worry, JJ. Everything will be fine. You yourself said that she's beautiful. Let's go get to know each other. Mikey, look. She's leaving. We need to catch up with her quickly. Let's go. Hey, TV maid. Hello. How are you? What are you doing here? Hi, kids. I went for a walk. What are you doing? We also walk. Listen, maid, you are very beautiful. Do you want to go on a date with me? Hey, JJ, did I misunderstand something? Why are you asking her out? I also want to go on a date with her. It's not fair. No, I'm going on a date with her. Stop it. Yes, children, stop arguing. This is very bad. Don't do it. Only the one who commits a heroic act will go on a date with me. How do you like this idea? I think it's great. Great idea. Mikey, how are you? What does a heroic act mean? I don't understand. Mikey. This means you need to do something bold that will surprise the maid. Um, okay, I agree. I just don't know what I can do that's so heroic. Okay, kids, stop swearing. Figure out for yourself which of you will do the heroic deed faster. See you soon. Okay, see you soon, TV maid. Get ready to go on a date with me, haha. -ha. I didn't understand something. JJ, are you crazy? I'll go on a date with her. No, Mikey, I'll go on a date with her. You definitely won't be able to do any heroic deed. How you piss me off, JJ. That's it, get away from me. You you were embarrassed to come up to meet her, you definitely won't be able to do a heroic act. No, you're the one that's pissing me off, Mikey. That's it, go away. I'm offended by you. We'll see which of us will go on a date with the TV maid. How much that stupid Mikey pissed me off. I really want to go on a date with a TV maid. I won't allow this. Never. Three hours later. Hello, friends. My name is JJ. I came up with a brilliant idea on how to win the heart of a TV maid. Very soon we will have a date, both to impress her and to do a heroic deed. I will bribe some bandit to attack her and I will beat him. Then she will think that I'm cool and did a heroic deed, risked my life for her and will definitely be with me forever. All that remains is to find some kind of bandit. But I think that this is not a problem. Great, we came to a place where at least one bandit is sure to offend. Here is their rally point. Here they spend the night, come up with plans for crimes and so on. Yeah, this place is very creepy. It used to be a really cool shopping center, but it's now abandoned and all sorts of unpleasant people hang out here. Don't appear here again. Otherwise, there may be problems. Oh, do you see? It's a bandit. I need to talk to him. Maybe he will agree to help me with my brilliant plan. Hey, who are you? What are you doing here? Get out of here quickly. Otherwise, other bandits may come and you may have problems. Hi, my name is JJ. I need your help. What help do you need? And why did you come here? Soon, I will have a date with a wonderful and very beautiful TV maid. And I will need you to attack her. And I can protect her and beat you. So she will understand that I am very brave and cool. I risked my life for her. Naturally, I will pay you a lot of diamonds for this. Hmm, a very tempting offer. But since you gave me so many diamonds, I certainly agree. Great. Thank you very much for agreeing. Now it's time to get to work. Well, guys, my plan is perfect. This way, TV's maid will definitely be mine, and Mikey doesn't have a single chance to impress her. Well, I'm very worried. Now I'll go to the TV maid's house to ask her on a date. I hope she will agree. I wonder if she's even home now? I should have asked in advance in case she was not at home. Hey, okay. TV maid, open the door. It's JJ. Please open it. It's me. Oh, hi, JJ. Jay, what are you doing here? Maybe you're lost. No, I'm not lost. I want to ask you out on a date. Can we go for a walk? Let's chat or something. Oh, of course I agree. I'm actually very glad that you asked me out on a date first. I wouldn't want to go on it with Mikey. Great, I'm glad about that too. I've been wanting to ask you out on a date for a long time. You are very beautiful and smart. I really like the way you look. You have a cute face and a beautiful outfit. Wow, thanks so much for the compliments, JJ. Hey girl, I see that you are very beautiful. I just like those. Let's go with me and not with this idiot, haha. <laughs> oh no, please don't touch us. We haven't done anything bad to you. We don't want to cause problems. Please don't do anything bad. Don't be afraid, you maid. Now I will deal with this bandit. He will never bother 
bother you again. What can you do to me? You're a weakling. Oh yeah, does that mean I'm a weakling? Get it, stupid bandit. Never go near the TV maid again. Don't even dare look in her direction. Wow, thank you, JJ. You saved me. This is a truly heroic act. No problem, TV maid. I'm not at all afraid to protect you in such a situation. Wow, JJ. You are a real hero. Hmm, I wonder what's going on here. What? This can't be. It's JJ and TV Maid. What do they do together? I don't understand at all. We agreed that the one who commits a heroic act will go on a date with her. Wait, has JJ already done this? I don't believe. What should I do now? I also want to go on a date with the TV Maid. Now I'm very sad because JJ got ahead of me. I do not know what to do. Although, I came up with a very good idea on how to change everything. I hope JJ doesn't get mad at me, haha, -ha, but I have no choice. I also want to go on a date with the TV maid because she is very beautiful and very clear on how to two hours later. That was a wonderful walk, baby. Oh yeah, you were so good and brave, JJ. We'll definitely go out with you again sometime. I'm glad to hear that, sweetie. And here we are at your house. JJ, would you like to have tea with me? Or maybe do something else together? Nah, I only like to drink Coca-Cola. I don't like tea at all. Uh, well, sort of, uh, all right. I'll have tea alone then. It feels like you're upset. Nope, I really enjoyed walking with you. I hope to see you again soon, JJ. You're so good. You are a very kind and interesting girl too. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Whew, I think I'm in love with this girl. Hopefully we will have the perfect relationship. Friends, would you like to date a girl? Write about it in the comments. And now I have to go home. My idea is the smartest and coolest. And no JJ bandit will even come close to my heroic deed. This maid will mock marvel at my heroism and bravery. Hey, open up! Mikey's here! I want to see you! Ah, uh, who's making noise? Mikey! Uh, you're JJ's friend, aren't you? I just went for a walk with him. I think you haven't worked up that much, and you have the strength to walk with me, ma'am. I assure you that you will definitely like it. Well, do you agree? Oh, yeah. Great idea. I would love to go for a walk with you, too. Great. Then we can go for a walk in the woods. Oh, that sounds a little scary. But okay. I think you can protect me from wild animals. Don't be afraid. Wild animals haven't been here for a long time. And if there were, I could easily take down a bear. You are so brave and strong. I feel safe with you. Oh, there's a dead end. Nah, it's not a dead end. There is a diamond at the end of that beam. I can get it for you. Um, I think this is too bad an idea. You could fall. Don't worry so much about me. I have walked on such beams more than a dozen times. See, there's nothing difficult about it. Wow, Mikey, you're so brave. You're a lot cooler than JJ. I can even jump around here. Look. Wow, apparently you're still a very clever guy. Ah! Oh no, Mikey, not that. Oh my God. Mikey, are you alive there? It's so high up here. Come on, get up. I hope you're all right. Um, and why aren't you answering? Oh my god, it looks like he's dead. No one would have survived a fall from such a height. And what should I do? Oh my god, I'm so worried. I urgently need to call for help. Mikey, I'm running. Don't go anywhere. Oh my god, he still hasn't gotten up. Wake up faster. You're starting to worry me. Oh my god, it looks like he just wanted to impress me. It's all my fault. I should have talked him out of it. Maybe JJ can help me. After all, this is his friend. And he's a lot smarter than this Mikey. He will decide exactly what needs to be done. To die for one diamond is so stupid. Friends, I realized that that maid just wanted to invite me to visit, and I didn't figure it out. Oh, the doorbell. Who is this who came to my house? Apparently, it's a food delivery. I ordered two liters of Coca-Cola for myself. I'm on my way. Stop calling. Oh, is that you? JJ, Mikey's in trouble. I need your help. Take it easy. Tell me what happened. Oh, my God. It's so scary. I was walking with Mikey, and he fell down from a high mountain. He's not breathing. Breathing. I'm so worried about him. Um, don't worry so much about Mikey. But he kind of died. He's a tough boy. He just wanted to impress you, but he couldn't do it. Please don't worry. Let's go have a cup of tea with you. Oh, tea? Wow. Um, I agree. Let's go. You know, Mikey fell from much higher heights. I'm sure he's already sitting at home playing computer games. Okay, thanks for calming me down, JJ. You're such an empathetic guy. I'm glad I helped you. You know, you could help me with something too. Hey, hey let's go. Oh, it didn't hurt at all. Even though I didn't catch the diamond, I was unharmed. Oh, where's that pretty maid? For some reason, it's so cold and uncomfortable around. Oh my god, it's me. This is my body. What's going on here? Why am I not in my body? It looks like I died and became a ghost. This is very bad. I don't want to die. I need someone to help me. Looks like it's time to contact JJ. He's going to take me to the hospital.
JJ, I'm in big trouble. I need your help. I fell down and didn't wake up. Oh, uh, what are you two doing here? Oh, JJ, it feels so good in your arms. You're so nice. I've been wanting to tell you for a long time that I really like you, baby. <laughs> oh my God, JJ took my girlfriend away from me. Oh, what could he do to me? No one will help me. This world is so unfair. <laughs> <laughs> the next day. I don't even know what would be so interesting to do today. Maybe watch cartoons. Uh-oh, someone's calling my house? I should open the door. JJ, did you fall asleep in there? Mikey, hey, you're here early today. Hey, JJ, I've got this cool bike in the house. Do you want to go for a ride with me? Great idea, Mikey. I'm in. The last time I rode this bike was when I was a kid. Oh, you can hardly sit on that bike at all. You're so clumsy and inept. So I'm gonna ride it, and you're gonna watch it. Is it hard to ride a bike at all? Um... I don't know, but it's worth a try. I'm not giving it to you anyway. Uh, okay. I'll watch you fall face first into the ground. I'm not going to fall. Some six-year-old kids can ride it easily. But I'm an adult and I can do it too. Actually, I'm an adult too and quite agile enough to handle a regular bike. I don't care how mature you are. The bike belongs to me and I'm going to ride it. You can just watch and be jealous. That's kind of unfair. The bike is red and I'm red, so I have to ride first. It's too late. I already sat on it. Look, this isn't as hard as I thought it would be. Wow, let me try it too. You wait, kid. Let the uncles play. Look what tricks I can do. Watch it, Mikey. You're gonna fall down again and cry all day. Ha ha ha. It's so cool to ride on one wheel. Everyone can immediately see that I am a professional cyclist. I can still jump on this wheel. Watch out. It's getting dangerous, Mikey. I don't want to take you apart. Out of my... Ouch! Ha 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 ha. You fell. Less bragging, Mikey. You're so clumsy. Get up already. Stop lying down. That was very painful, JJ. I landed squarely with my knee on the floor. I also fell right in front of a beautiful girl. Oh, well, yeah. I guess she's a pretty girl. Oh, looks like I'm in love, JJ. She's a very pretty girl. Then go meet her right now. Otherwise, she'll run away and you'll never see her again. Come with me, because I'm too shy to do it alone. Um, okay. Hello, beautiful. What's your name? My name is Elena. What's yours? And mine's Mikey. I liked you so much, you know. Oh my god, he's doing it so ridiculously. I'd like that, to go out with you sometime. That's a good idea, by the way. By the way, do you have any girlfriends for me too? Because it's not cool to go out with you guys alone. Uh, I have a girlfriend at my house. I think I can get her to meet you. That's great. Then we can all go out, all four of us. It'll be great. Then meet me tomorrow near here. Nice to meet you guys. I really liked you too. Bye-bye. I'm waiting for your girlfriend. Ha ha ha. She's so funny, I forgot to ask her name. Let's go for a bike ride ride. There's still plenty of time before tonight anyway. But I want to go out with that hottie already. I'm not interested in the bike. You'll still make it. Let's go for a walk already. Okay, let's go. Only this time I want to ride a bike. I think you've had enough for today. Uh, okay, suit yourself. I don't want to ride it anymore. Okay. Three hours later. And here is the exact house where that beautiful girl invited us. We should probably get her name. That's right. We totally forgot about that. This house looks too familiar, Mikey. I don't know what you mean. I got flowers for that chick. Whoa! Ha ha! Mikey! I see you've prepared well for this meeting. She's sure to love it. Go ring her doorbell. I can't wait to meet that girl. I liked her so much. And there's their house. Mikey, try to be polite and don't call anyone Chica. It's uncivilized. I don't care at all. I have a feeling she's gonna like it that way. Hey, open up. The guests are here. Hello? Oh, hello. Who are you? You're the guys Mickey was talking about. Wow, you're so beautiful. And you're wearing red too. I think I'm in love too. So cute and pretty. Anyway, we forgot to meet. My name is JC and my friend Mickey. You know, I'm so bored at home. Oh my god, what a figure. I would totally date her. Uh, JJ, actually, I could hear you just now. Oh my god, please forgive me. It's just a thought out loud. Hey, Mickey, come here. Our boys are here. Hee <laughs> hee. Hey there, ladies. I brought a bouquet for my lady. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you. By the way, what's your name? My name is JJ. And my name is Mikey. We're brothers. Two handsome brothers, let me tell you. Well, let's all go for a walk together. Let's Let's go! That's what we came here for! Let's go play on the playground. Stop talking already. You know, I've never been in a relationship. I don't even know what it's like to hold a girl's hand to kiss her. It's horrible for me. Stop whining, JJ. There's a first time for everything. I think you're right. It's worth a try. Oh my god, is that the idiot I'm gonna date? Oh, that's a shame. Six months later. Oh! <sighs> 
Oh my God, I've been asleep for so long. There's that fat cow lying next to me again. She's pissing me off. It's time to stretch a little after bedtime. Ouch, who's ringing my doorbell? Does Mikey need something again? Wake up, JJ. Open this door, it's an emergency. I'm coming, Mikey. Don't make so much noise. JC's still asleep. Oh my God. What else do you want? First of all, hello, JJ. Second of all, I found a super cool place to ride my bike there. Do you want to ride a bike again? Well, yeah, it's fun. Everyone needs to exercise to keep from getting fat. Let's go for a ride. Stop talking. Do you realize that I actually slept with my girlfriend and you dragged me out of the house and took me to some cool place? You could spend time with your girlfriend, too. I'm sick of spending all my free time with her. You and I so rarely go out together. Um, well, yeah, you're right. Let's go for a ride, then. I'm so glad you said yes. I promise you, this is the coolest place you'll ever see in your life. I'm gonna do the coolest stunt ever. You're such a braggart, Mikey. Come on, let's go show it to me. I'm not bragging. If you're an extreme sports enthusiast like me, JJ, you'll definitely love it there. Uh, okay. So where is this super duper place of yours? This is the place. Here on top of the mountain, we're gonna do all kinds of tricks. It's very easy to fall down here. That's why it's so exciting. This is a very bad idea. I don't even want to get on bike here. And I don't advise you to be here either. Wow, it's really high up here. Imagine how long it'll take you to fall down. That's really cool. There's nothing cool about it. Mikey, it's very dangerous. Please, let's get out of here. Oh, you're such a chicken, JJ. I'm not the chicken, you're the idiot. In this life, you must always be brave. It's the only way to be a real man. Mikey, you don't understand. This bravery won't get you anywhere. You're risking your life for nothing. Oh, you're such a whiny little baby, JJ. If you don't want to ride, just look at me. I've been riding a lot better since then. Okay, you're awesome. Now let's go home. Calm down. I have the situation under control. Look how I can jump on one wheel. I've seen it before. Hey, stop. Don't go backwards. You're going to fall. Stop joking around. Stop, Mikey. Uh... Oh my God. No, Mikey, are you alive in there? I don't think he'd survive a fall from that height. I'm coming to you now. Friends, don't do such dangerous stunts on a bicycle, okay? I gotta go save Mikey. What an idiot he is. Is. I have to help him out again. I hope it wasn't painful. Ha ha ha. Mikey, get up. Stop scaring me. Uh, Mikey, are you okay? I think he collapsed and he's not regaining consciousness. Oh my god. This is not good at all. It's time to call an ambulance on the phone. I hope they come quickly and help him. I don't want Mikey dying in front of me. Hello, ambulance. My friend fell down the mountain. Very good. Where are you now? We're at the highest mountain in the county. Okay, we're on our way. Wait for us. Okay. God, Mikey, Hold on, the ambulance is on its way. Friends, if you want Mikey to survive, like this video. Uh-oh, what is that? That's the ambulance coming. That was fast. At this rate, Mikey will be fixed in no time. Hurry up and help Mikey. His leg must be broken. Hello, what's wrong? My friend fell down the mountain on his bike. Help him. Keep your voice down, young man. I'm the doctor here, not you. So what? Hurry up and give him shots, bandages, I don't know. Did he really fall from that height? Yeah, it was crushed to smithereens. He's not even recovering from from the fall. He's very sick. Okay, then he needs to get to the hospital right away. We'll try to help him there, but let me tell you right away, there's very little chance of survival. What? Mikey could die? But my viewers will probably put a lot of likes on the video and he will survive. I have no idea what you're talking about. Come to the hospital for more information. We will do our best to save this cyclist's life. Okay, bye-bye. Thank you for your help. I have high hopes for you, doctor. I'm never riding a bike again. It's too traumatic. Friends, aren't you a Afraid to ride a bike? Write it in the comments! The doctor said to come to this particular hospital. I'm so worried about Mikey. They must be in this office. I'll wait for them here. Friends, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. This way, Mikey will definitely survive. At least I'm willing to do anything to help my brother. Where's my boyfriend? What happened to him? Oh, it's Mickey. Whoa, JJ, you're here too. What happened to Mikey? He wanted to show me his cool bike tricks on the mountain, but unfortunately, he fell off it. What? You two idiots? Why didn't you stop him? Mikey's totally crazy. Hey. Hey, I tried to stop him, but you know how hard that is to do. What if he really dies? It'll be all your fault. Oh my God, I can't even imagine that happening. The doctor's coming and we'll find out from him. Hello, you must be Mikey's friends. Well, I have some not so good news for you. <laughs> What's so funny? Is Mikey alive? Uh, a little bit. A little bit? Show us Mikey right now. Okay, you're not gonna like this at all. Let's go to the room. I don't know how to tell you this. No more silence. Tell us straight. He's obviously hiding something from us. There's Mikey. He's got all his bones broken. 
Jason. Oh my god, but he's gonna make it, right? Unfortunately, he's dead. I'm so sorry. What? This can't be happening! That was my favorite boyfriend. And that's my brother. Oh my god, I can't live without him. I loved him so much. He died a long time ago. Why didn't you save him? You're a doctor! Some awful doctor. I can't live without him. I'm alone now, without a boyfriend. Hey, stop! You're the worst doctor ever! Mickey, Mikey was the best friend to all of us. Don't feel bad. Please, don't cry. I'll always be by your side. You don't understand anything. Mikey was my whole life, and now he's gone. We've been a family for a long time. Please don't walk away from me. Ew, it's starting to stink already. What am I supposed to do with his body? I wish I could have saved him. What an idiot he is to start riding right on the mountain. All his relatives are on the mountain now because of his stupidity. I'm gonna go get some lunch. Wow, we had a nice ride with you after all. I'll have to learn more bike tricks. Yeah, JJ, where are you hiding? Where am I? It smells like alcohol and some kind of medicine. This place looks like a hospital. Uh, what? Is that my body? Am I dead? Oh, that's not cool at all. I shouldn't have done those super cool stunts on the mountain. I don't even know what I'm supposed to do right now. I've become a ghost. I can walk through walls, scare people who pass by, but I don't need any of that. I'd like to see my Mickey. Hey, stop, wait for me, don't run away, stop taking offense. You have no idea how much I loved Mikey. We had fun together, we ate, we played, we slept, and now he's gone. Who do I live with now? I can help you with all of that. You should get some sleep. You'll feel better the next day. How can you help me with this? Mikey's the only one who can calm me down. I can calm you down. Come on, I'll help you sleep. Oh, uh, well, come on. I don't know what that's gonna do. You're gonna love it for sure. Ha 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 ha. You just need to relax. Mikey's not gonna see me now anyway. I'm not so sure about that anyway. You're so beautiful, you know. A good girl like you shouldn't go without a boyfriend. You're right. I am so pretty and without a boyfriend. Maybe you can replace Mikey. Of of course I can replace him. You get down. Now you're going to enjoy it. JJ, please, be gentle with me, okay? Ha ha ha! I'll be the most gentle man in the world. Wow, you're so much better than Mikey, you know. I'm better than him at everything. Here I am. I'm still alive and I can see you. Oh, what are you guys even doing here? Yeah, you're the best. Wow! Ah uh, ha ha ha, wow. I feel so good. Good thing Mikey can't see us. Oh, what a freak that JJ is. I just died an hour ago. Oh my god. One million zillion jillion dillion cotillion times later. Let's go further into the woods. Maybe there's some funny stuff waiting for us. And what might be interesting in the woods? There's no one here. Maybe there'll be some pretty girls walking around. Oh, JJ. All you ever think about is finding a new girl or a total ladies man. What's the big deal? Want to find a girlfriend. I'm a man. It's okay for me. Forget the women, JJ. It's a bike rental place. You can get two of them. Bikes for rent? Hmm, that looks very tempting. The price is only one diamond per bike. Then let's rent these two super cool bikes. Let's go. Gotta talk to that salesman. Hey, we want to rent two bikes. We'll take a ride through the woods and bring them back to you. Okay, problem. I can give you two bikes. Return, I'll ask for two diamonds. It's not expensive at all, I think. Stop thinking and give him all your money. It's time for us to go for a ride in the woods. If you break these bikes, I'll break you. Two little freaks. Yes, we'll be careful with your bikes. Here are your diamonds. Now give us your bikes. Well, 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 now we're gonna count my money. Ha <laughs> ha. There's only two diamonds. What are you gonna count? Shut up. You the smartest one here? Get my bikes and get out of here. Don't forget to bring them back. Okay, thank you so much for the bikes. You should be more polite and you'll surely be richer. I don't think he cares about his job at all. Doesn't matter. Let's just get on these cool bikes. Don't hit any houses or utility poles, JJ. You've been so inattentive your whole life. Am I inattentive? Actually, I was teaching you how to ride a bike. I'm the coolest cyclist in my town. So stop belittling me in my video. See, I've been riding my bike since I was a kid. Even now I'm good at it. Just look at the views all around. It's so nice here. Woods, small pond. It's beautiful. I don't get out of the city much. Oh, I'm tired. AJ, you should be looking at the road, not the sides. I don't know if you're gonna crash again. Just go ahead. You're not my mom to lecture me. Oh, you can still ride horses here? That's cool. It's a dangerous turn. Be careful. Hmm, what? Hey, JJ, you're even alive. Pick up already. Ah, my head hurts so bad. Where am I? You're in a hospital. Hit your head too hard against a tree. You hit that tree so hard. I warned you, JJ. Okay, it's certainly not all that cool. When can I get out of here? Get out of here. Be out of his mind. Hit the tree really hard, huh? Then I'll be blunt. JJ will be in our hospital for quite some time. It needs time to be fully healed. Uh, I'm healthy. I don't want to lie here. Don't worry about him. Be completely safe here. You better not let him ride his bike anymore. 
Okay, Doctor. I'm keeping him away from bicycles for the rest of his life. You said you were the best cyclist in the world. Stop making fun of me, Mikey. I'll be laughing at you for a long time. It's not cool to make fun of sick people, Mikey. Friends, have you ever been in a hospital? Write about it in the comments. You expect me to lie here for months in this hospital alone? I'll visit you here sometimes. I think they'll let you go home for a couple days. It was actually your idea to get on the bike. You're the reason I'm here. It's your fault, Mikey. You're basically right, JJ. I wouldn't be lying here if I hadn't offered you a bike, even though you agreed with me. So it's your fault. My fault? I'm gonna punch you so hard. Hello, I'm here to bandage a sick person. Where is my patient? Wow, what a cute nurse. I'd stay here for a couple days. <laughs> I really like her too. Uh, what are you talking about, Mikey? You like the nurse? Hey, actually, I liked her first. Why don't you go home already? She'll treat me, not you. I seem to have fallen for this girl so hard. Okay, patient must not stand at all. Strangers are not to be in the patient's room. Get out of here right now. You quickly lay down on the bed. I'm going to bandage your head. Oh my god, you're such a strict nurse. Why are you standing up? Out! Sitting hours are over. What are you looking at? Bed! Ow! Okay, okay, okay. I'll listen to you. It's like my mom's bossing me around right now. Have you forgotten where the door is? Told you more than once to get out of here. Okay, bye-bye, JJ. Evil aunt doesn't want me to stay here. Bye-bye, Mikey. And you don't do anything else until I say you can. Now I have to change the bandage on your head. It must have hurt when you fell. Huh, I hit a tree really hard. By the way, and you are a very nice nurse. You must be delirious from the concussion. Now don't move. Don't you believe me? Five minutes later. That's it. Bandaged your head. Why well, forbid you to get up? So you have to lie down for a while. That way, you'll definitely get better. Whatever you say, you're a nurse and you know best how to get me better. <laughs> I wish I had more obedient patients like you. Oh, who's that? Hey, everybody. I want to ask you, sweet nurse, out on a date. I suggest you say yes. You came all the way out here for a nurse? And this bouquet of flowers is for you. Love you, mademoiselle. Hey, Mikey, get out of here. You were told no strangers are allowed in here. Go home, that's my nurse. You're as beautiful as these flowers. Oh my god, what a stupid compliment. What kind of idiot falls for that? That's a very nice compliment. Thanks for the flowers, sweetie. Hee <laughs> hee, maybe we can go straight to my house. Have a bunch of cool computer games. Hey, this is no good. We're not going anywhere. I'm actually sick here. Are you out of your mind? Maybe you'll forget about your patient and we'll have some fun together. That's a great idea. Let's take a walk together. So cute. I love TV guys. What about me? You're pretending I'm not here? Let's go to a quiet place. What's a quiet place? What are you going to do there? Hey, I'm back. Oh, I don't feel so good. The next day. Hey guys, I'm already recovered. Now I don't have to wear that weird headband and I can walk. Mikey wanted to meet me on this day, but I don't really want to see him. He's really hurt me with his behavior. I just have a couple of papers to sign. Then I can go home in peace. Oh, hey nurse, I was just waiting for you. Oh, hello? Have you recovered yet? Wait here, I need to prepare the necessary paperwork. Okay, whatever you say, I'll stand here all day for you. Well, maybe I should get to know her better. All this time she's seen me as a patient, now I'm a real man. JJ, you can come in now. Prepared all the necessary paperwork for you. I'm here. Uh, okay. Thought I'd have to wait forever for you. I'm on my way, nurse. I hope Mikey doesn't come here again at the worst possible time. How are you feeling, JJ? You have a headache? You okay? Yes, I'm completely healthy. It's all thanks to you. You cured me. I wish there was some way I could thank you for everything you've done. Oh, that's so sweet. You've been such a good patient. I'd treat you again. Hee <laughs> hee. He could play nurse and patient. A bit of a playful game, if you know what I mean. I love you, nurse. You're so beautiful. And you're such a beautiful and lovely spirit. Man. I've been in love with you since the first day we met. Oh, hey, everybody. I'm here to visit JJ after his recovery. Uh, JJ, what are you doing here? We're, uh, oh my god. Oh, look at this love couple. I actually just started dating this nurse. How could she cheat on me with him? Maybe stop kissing. I'm actually standing here and I can see you. It's not very civilized. Uh, Mikey, you're actually distracting us. Go away! How could you cheat on me, you stupid woman? And you're actually my best friend who took my girlfriend. Actually, we just played computer games, that's all. That's it. 
I have a grudge against you, too. I don't think you and I are friends anymore, JJ. What are you talking about? Calm your friend down, JJ. Actually, you're the one who stole my nurse first. So we're even, Mikey. What do you mean? Hey, I'm not gonna calm you down right now. Stop crying. It's your friend. You're supposed to take care of him and comfort him. Okay, let's go get him and try to talk to him. I don't think that's gonna work. Mikey, wait. Let's play together again. He won't listen to you anymore. He'll cry and calm down. He won't pay any attention to it. Then what do we do now? He can come to his house in a couple hours when he's calmed down. We can talk to him then. He's such a crybaby. You stay here. Here. He might cry the second time he sees you. You wouldn't do for a best friend. Guys, what do you think? Should I stay with the nurse or should I stay with Mikey? Write it down in the comments. Oh, I should go to Mikey's house. Let's go. Hey, wait for me. I want to talk to you. You and I are going to have a whole bunch of girls in our future. Go to that girl of yours. I don't need anyone. Just wait. We can't fight over some nurse. Mikey, open up. I haven't talked to you yet. You're the one taking offense. Like a little girl. <laughs> Mikey is a little girl crybaby. I'm having so much fun with you. Did you come here to gloat? You're not welcome here stupid speaker man. I'm a stupid speaker man. But you're a crybaby. Here's a spreadsheet for the really stupid. You're not welcome here. Get out. Actually, I came to apologize. Wait. You're just calling me names now. You're not my friend anymore. What am I supposed to do? Red speakers do not enter. One of the stupidest things Mikey's ever done. How am I supposed to apologize to him? Write about it in the comments. I'm out of ideas can't get to him anymore. Maybe I should go home. Well, 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 where are you going? Do you apologize to Mikey yet? Yes, I apologized. He won't listen to me at all. He closed the door and put a stupid sign on the wall. Still, you have to do your best. Apologize to him. He's your best friend. What are you offering me? Break his window and break into his house and apologize? That's just stupid. That's a genius idea, JJ. You'd do anything for friendship, wouldn't you? If you are, go for it. I'm gonna break my hand on this glass. Have you lost your mind, too? But I really feel sorry for Mikey. He wanted to date me, and now I'm dating you. It's a shame for him. Okay, I'll try it. After all, we've been friends with this man all our lives. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, that hurts. Well done, JJ. All right, we're good to go. He's probably crying in his bed somewhere right now. Let's go together. Maybe we can both comfort him for a while. You know, I'm kind of scared. Maybe he resents me, too. Maybe you should go see him alone. Who talked me into going to him for so long if you're such a chicken, too? Go apologize to him first. Oh, my God, I don't like this. There he is. He seems upset. Hey, Mikey, forgive me and her, please. We won't do it again. Not bad. Keep it up. Now you apologize. Come on. Stop being sad, huh? Uh-oh. <laughs> Looks like he's still crying. Mikey, please forgive us both. We're sorry to you. We're your friends. You are much more important to me than that nurse. You know, I've been thinking, and I've come to one very important thought. That nurse is the one that got us in a fight with you. You're right. It's the nurse's fault. Hey, I didn't do anything. First, I fell in love with her, and then you fell in love with her. So we started fighting with each other. Nobody wants you here at all. Get out of my house. Nobody's in love with you anymore, you stupid woman. Get back to your hospital. Uh, it's not what I expected. And you stink of pills. Go away now. You, she stinks. Disgusting. That's it. Two hours later. I'll have to go visit him. After Christmas, he stopped hanging out with me. It makes me sad. Hey, Mikey, open the door. JJ's here. Stop sleeping. Let me into your house. Just open the door already. Who's that loud one at the door? Wow, you're so beautiful. Oh, I mean, where's Mikey? Who are you anyway? I'm JJ, his friend. Mikey, come here, honey. Your friend JJ is here to see you. A uh, honey? Mikey got a girlfriend? I'm already here. Hey, JJ. Who's that strange guy? This is my friend. I've known him all my life. He's a really cool dude. Okay, then come on inside. I'd love to get to know your friends better. Mikey, when did you get such a hot girl? What do you mean, hot? She looks too enchanting. Look, you shouldn't say those words. That's my girlfriend after all. But you're right. She's pretty cool. You're lucky to have such a good girlfriend. I'm so lucky. Let's go back to my house. Stop standing on the doorstep. I'm freezing. Look, how how could she ever fall in love with someone as boring and ugly as you? The only one boring and ugly here is you, JJ. Oh, you're wrong. I'm very popular with
with the girls. Hello again. Don't worry. The soup will be ready soon. All you have to do is wait a little longer and you'll be good to eat. Oh, that's awesome. It's been a long time since I've had a home-cooked meal. Oh, you're gonna love this, JJ. My girlfriend cooks perfectly. You can eat her food forever. It's so good. I order my own food a lot. And the last time I had a home-cooked meal was at my mom's house. Guys, we got a problem. I'm out of pasta. It's a very important ingredient for soup. Wow, soup without pasta is not cool at all. You think this is a serious problem? We'll go to the store and get you some pasta. Oh, Mikey, you always save me in dire situations. Anything for you, sweetheart. And JJ and I are gonna take a walk to the store. Bye-bye. I miss you already, Mikey. Bye-bye. She's such a good girl. Let's go already, good girl. I'm so lazy to go get some pasta. You could go get it yourself. Your queen has given you orders. Don't be lazy and do your duty. Oh, what a queen. I'm the king of the family. She listens to me and does my bidding. Haha, -ha, you're just a petty servant. Uh-oh, there are two stores here. There's an expensive store on the left and a cheap store on the right. Of course we'll go to the cheap store. We'll save money on pasta and use the rest to buy chips. And spending a lot of money on some expensive pasta is stupid. I agree with you. Let's go to the cheap store. We're not rich enough to spend thousands of dollars on pasta. And in an expensive store, they do cost thousands of dollars. Let's go to the store. I know a shortcut. Oops, after saying that, we usually get in trouble. Don't be afraid. Two hours later. Shortcut? Yeah, I know this road. Mikey, I think we got lost a long time ago. Let's go back. We're lost deep in the woods, and we're going to be eaten by bears. Stop making a big deal out of it. We're not lost. We're just a little off my path. We've been rubbing it in. We should call the rescue squad to come look for us. And there's that track. We've come to where I wanted to go. What the hell are you talking about? We're still in the woods. We're not getting out of here. Uh-oh. Mikey, it's too high. We shouldn't have come here. There's a beam. We can go forward right over it. Are you crazy? You'll fall and crash. We need to get down this mountain and walk to the store in peace. You're always afraid of everything. This is where you can use a stick to get to the other side of the mountain. What happened? if you fall off that stick. It hurts to fall off this stick. Stop talking. Get in first. I'll go after you. No way. I'm not climbing that thing for the life of me. Then stand here and see how cool and brave I am. I'll cross this girder with no trouble at all. You don't have to do that. Mikey, I'm scared for you. Please don't do this. It's too late. I'm already here. Look, it's actually easy to get across. Then come here. You don't have to stand there. And don't make any sudden movements. Huh, I can still jump around. I'm a real acrobat. Mikey, stop! Ah! Oh my god, Mikey, are you alive? You're not an acrobat. You're an idiot. We should go down there and see if he survived at all. What am I going to tell his girlfriend? Why did he have to climb that stick in any way? Yeah, he's still lying there. It seems like he'll never get up again. He fell from too great a height. Hey, Mikey, get up. Pasta can't buy itself. Get up already. This isn't funny anymore. Oh no, he's not waking up. Help me. Somebody, the man is sick. Oh man. Man, there's nobody around. Okay, phone booth. Maybe I can call an ambulance and help Mikey. This is my last chance for salvation. I hope they come quickly. Nine, one, one. Is that an ambulance? Yes, what happened? My friend fell off the mountain right into the road. Please help him. Okay, we're on our way. Don't worry, we'll be there soon. That's great. I'm waiting for you. And please make it quick. Well, guys, would you be willing to walk across that stick? Write about it in the comments. Five minutes later. Yeah, Mikey's already stopped breathing. That's too too bad. What a stupid idea it was to walk that stick. Uh oh, here comes the ambulance. Finally, they're gonna give Mikey a hundred shots and he's gonna wake up. Stop, don't run over my friend. Quick, give him first aid. He's very sick. Why are you yelling at me? Hurry and get him to the hospital. Yeah, your buddy's not cool at all. Where did it even fall from? Right over there. He wanted to walk on that stick, but he slipped off it and flew down. Yeah, the height is pretty big. Well, we'll have to take your friend to the hospital. Let me tell you, the chances of surviving survival are extremely slim. People don't live long after a fall like that. But you're a good doctor. You can cure all people just by touching them. I'm not a god. I'm just a doctor. Bye-bye. See you at the hospital, buddy. Bye-bye. I still hope you can get him back on his feet. It wouldn't be cool to lose Mikey at all. Get well soon, my friend. Friends, like the video, and Mikey will live. The more likes, the more chances Mikey will be alive. Three hours later. 
and here I am in the hospital. I'm here to check on Mikey and see how he's doing. He's lying in this room. The doctors say they're fighting for his life. Where's Mikey? I'm lost in this hospital. Whoa, you're Mikey's girlfriend. Come here. What happened to him? The doctors told me he fell from a height. Yeah, that's right. He was in such a hurry to buy cheap pasta that he fell off a stick between two mountains. He fell so hard he stopped breathing. Oh my God, this is so awful. I'm so worried about him. Let me see Mikey. I'm his girlfriend. I'll help him. They won't let you in there. Here I am. Did you miss me? <laughs> Tell me what happened to Mikey. No more silence. We're all very worried about Mikey. Well, how can I tell you this? Anyway, Mikey is dead. We tried to save him, but he fell from too great a height. What? This can't be happening. It wasn't high at all. It could. All the bones are broken. He's dead. Oh my god. Poor, poor Mikey. How are we going to live without you? I don't even care. I'm having lunch. Get out of my way. It's your fault. If it wasn't for your pasta, he would have stayed home. Ouch, looks like I've really upset you. Well, it's not your fault. Mikey was stupid enough to do it. Stop crying. Wait a minute, and where did she run off to? Ah, there you are. I didn't tell you. I'm sorry about Mikey too, but it's not cool to grieve for him forever. So what if he's dead? At least you're boyfriendless now, even though you're so beautiful. Why don't we go to my house together? Um, and what are we going to do there? <laughs> and we'll definitely find something to do with you, pretty lady. Oh, I'm the pretty one? Hee hee, I'm in. Let's go to your place and have fun. Oh yeah, I like that. What are we going to do at your house? Haha, <laughs> we can watch the coolest cartoons I have together. Sounds awesome. Moments later. There's my house. Way cooler than Mikey's square house, huh? You know Mikey didn't talk about you much at all. What could he have told you about me? I'm just an ordinary, uninteresting girl. Oh, you're clearly wrong now. You are a very attractive, beautiful, and kind girl. Hee <laughs> hee. Thanks, JJ, for those kind words. Those are the same words Mikey said to me before he fell off that mountain onto the road. I realize the loss of Mikey is a heavy burden for all of us, but I think he would want us to be less sad and move on with our fun lives. You're you're right. We have to move on and enjoy life. You betcha. And first, let's start by watching the cartoons I wanted to show you. Let's go. You know you're so cute. I'd lie in bed with you and watch cartoons with you for the rest of my life. Hee <laughs> hee. That's so sweet to hear. Oh, what's that cartoon you have on TV? It's a digital circus. It's my favorite cartoon. I love the main character, Pomni, so much. Wow, that's my favorite cartoon, too. JJ, you and I look so much alike. That's for sure. All right, get over here. I've been waiting for this moment to finally kiss you. Oh, yeah, I like you. Here I am. It wasn't that high at all. Where am I, by the way? Some kind of hospital. Lots of machines. It's weird. Did I fall off that stick and end up in the hospital? I shouldn't have been in such a hurry to get that stupid pasta. Oh my god, that's my body. Am I dead? I don't want to die, but I'm kind of not dead. I don't like this at all. It's not cool to look at your dead body. Oh my god, I've become a ghost. Now I can fly through walls, scare people walking by. I just don't know how long I can stay like this. Woohoo, I'm a ghost. Be afraid of me. Oh, what a shame I can't scare anyone at night. What am I supposed to do then? I'm already dead. Nobody needs me. No one's waiting for me at home. No one to pet me or give me candy. Oh, I have a girlfriend and a JJ. I'm gonna go scare them. Good idea, by the way. Oh yeah, JJ, keep going. You're such a confident boy. Haha, <laughs> you're such a pretty girl. You know why we don't watch cartoons? Why do we need cartoons? Let's just kiss and cuddle. Oh, hugs and kisses? It's not a cartoon, but I like it too. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, hey, JJ, what are you guys doing here? Oh my God, what is it? Why are you lying on top of each other? Why are you taking your clothes off? Oh yeah, JJ, you're the best. A cheating girlfriend and a terrible friend. I will avenge you for this. Oh, what's going on? No! Ah! Don't A! I, I, I! Mikey and I are out of school already. Mikey, what have we been doing today? Today, we tried to burn down the school with gasoline, but our teacher noticed it in time and put out the fire. I am so pissed off at the teacher. I agree. She's always messing us up. Hey, kids, hello. Oh, is someone calling us? Yeah, it's our parents. Children, come here. We have a surprise for you. Whoa, surprise. I love surprises. Let's go get them, JJ. Let's go. I love surprises, too. Hi, Mom, Dad. Where's our surprise? Yes, 
You should make us happy after such a bad day at school. Yeah, we've got a little something for you. But we'll all have to go home for that. I'm sure you'll definitely enjoy it. I'm already excited. So what are we waiting for? Let's go home already. I think I'm gonna get a new Xbox. It's going to be a gaming console, right? No, it's a thousand times better. Well, let's go see what you have in store for us. Mikey, are we getting something better than an Xbox? The only thing better than one Xbox is two Xboxes. Get in the car, JJ. Okay, friends, what do you think? What did the parents have in store? for us. Write about it in the comments. No, seriously. What could be better than a new Xbox? Mikey, why do you want this console so much? JJ, don't you even read the news. The new GTA 6 is coming out soon. The trailer's out. Mikey, it's not coming out for another two years. We still have time. Even still, I want to be prepared for this historic date. Mikey, you're not 18 years old. You're not even supposed to be playing this. You're just a kid. And by the way, it's definitely not going to be an Xbox. What we bought you will be favorite by all kids your age. I don't know what in there anymore. This is the garage where your surprise is located. You know, I used to dream of a gift like this when I was a kid. Oh, I see. It's some old junk that only our parents are interested in. No, you're wrong, Mikey. Stop talking already. Go open it. Looks like you hurt our daddy a little bit, Mikey. It's not a big deal. He's a tough guy. I think you can offend anyone. Actually, I wanted to buy this for myself, but your mom talked me out of it. Nah, that's really some old grandfather stuff. Stop whining. It's a real cool thing. Super duper mega cool thing that my dad still wanted at a young age. Wow, that's a really big surprise. I hope we enjoy it at least a little bit. This is the best stuff I've ever seen in the store. You got the cheapest one. The cheapest? Looks like our parents are saving money on us. Yeah, you should have gotten the most expensive one. So what if it's cheap? It doesn't mean it's a bad gift. It's a good gift. You don't even want to open it? We don't even know. You're selling us some cheap stuff. I don't feel like it. All right, let's open this box already. I'm sick of wondering what's inside. Okay, ta -da! It's a bike. Isn't that cool? Wow, it's a bicycle. I've never had a bicycle. That's a super cool gift, Mikey. Now we can have our own bike. It's still red in color, just the way I like it. Why isn't it green? Mom, Dad, thank you so much. This is such a nice surprise. Yeah, thank you so much. Now, would you like to ride that bike? We were all taught to ride a bike as kids. Yeah, let's go right now. Anyway, have fun, kids. We're going out for a relaxing break with Daddy. Yeah, thanks again, Mom. Let's go for a ride on that bike already. I don't think it's that hard. It's not hard to ride this at all. All. I once took one of these bikes away from a guy at school. I'm riding first, okay? No, I want to ride first. No, you're still a baby. Who's a baby? I'm gonna punch you in the face. You? You're gonna hit me? Take that! That's my bicycle. And don't you dare say anything against me. Ah, uh, you. Okay, just let me ride first. And then you ride after that. I don't know how to ride it anyway. Okay, just not for long. Okay, cool. Now I'm gonna ride this iron horse. Just be careful, Mikey. Don't fall. You might break my bike. What are you so worried about? It's it's made of steel. I can't break it. And stop telling me what to do. I'm not that little. I can hit you back. Okay, I'm kidding. Ha 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 ha, Mikey. That's not funny at all. Okay, I'm finally gonna take it for a ride. Hey, 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 Mikey. You are so funny sitting on that bike. Okay, well, this isn't as hard as I expected. It's actually easy. Now try to ride back. That's it. It's a real breeze. Okay, you're a professional now. Now try riding on the street. Come on, open up. I'm a real cyclist. You can learn from me. Come on, come on. Now try Try riding on one wheel. Wow, I can even do that. It's like I was born to ride a bike. Well done, you're a fast learner. Try to pick up more speed. Okay, ouch, that hurts. Ha ha ha, Mikey, did you fall? You're not a cyclist. You don't even know how to ride. Hey, not everyone gets it perfect the first time. I just lost my balance. I need to try a second time. What second time? I'm supposed to be riding right now. You go get some rest. Go ahead, try it. Since you're such a pro, I'll watch you fall face down. All right, get back. I'm gonna to show you how to ride this bike properly. You see, it's very easy for me. You can't even do any tricks. Any idiot can just skate around. Tricks? At least let me enjoy this wonderful bike. It's been so long since I've ridden a bike like this. It's so cool. Oh, a lake of lava. Now I'm gonna do the coolest trick ever. Hmm, that looks dangerous. It's as simple as that. I accelerate up this ramp and fly across this lava lake. Go ahead, try it. Since you're such a professional, you only get one shot. If you fall, you turn into a fried JJ. You don't think I can do it? You're the biggest chicken in the family. I'm not afraid of anything in this life. Come on 
on, come on! You'll get scared on the cliff and won't make the jump! Okay, I just need some space to spread out. Where are you going? Already chickened out? I'm going to accelerate and fly over. You just stand there and watch what a great racer I'm becoming. Okay, I'm already watching you fail. Not a fail, but a cool trick. Let's go, baby. This moment will go down in history. The important thing is to keep the steering wheel straight. Ho, ho! Oh my god, I think I'm falling. Oh no! Oh my god, you didn't do a good trick, JJ. It wasn't even funny. You screwed up everywhere. Now I'm gonna have to call my parents and upset them. Yeah, we shouldn't have given them that bike. That bike almost killed our son. We didn't keep an eye on him. Don't worry, there's a couple of burns and fractures here. Your son will live, but we'll have to take him to the hospital. Okay, doctor, make it good. You should be able to visit your little boy in a couple days. Have a good day. Okay, goodbye, doctor. We'll be sure to check on JJ. I feel so bad for JJ. He's just a little kid. We should have watched them learn how to ride a bike. Everyone fell off their bikes as a kid. Hey, wake up, JJ. You've been asleep for two days. You're so sleepy. What? Where am I? Am I alive? Yes, you're alive. Mikey, stop crying. You're in a hospital. The patient has too many bruises. He needs to stay in the hospital for a while longer. If that's what it takes, then okay. I'm sorry, JJ. Guys, don't apologize, Mikey. And actually, thank you all for taking care of me, but I'm getting better. I want to ride my bike again. No bicycles. We threw his bike in the trash a long time ago. It broke too badly. I don't care about this bike at all. Don't be so discouraged. JJ is on the mend at a rapid pace. He's gonna be fine. We just have to wait a little longer. Did you hear that? You'll be discharged soon. Don't worry. Okay, sick visitation time is up. It's time for you to go home. I give you my word, he'll be fine. I'm glad to hear it, Doctor. JJ will not be left crippled. That's awesome. Okay, thank you all for visiting me. Bye-bye, JJ. Phew, finally everyone's gone, and now we can have some privacy, Mikey. Yeah, I've been waiting for this for a long time. Uh, shh, Mikey. Uh, what's going on here? What are you guys doing? Quiet, quiet. You need to sleep now, and I need to talk to Mikey about something. Stay here, sick guy. What do you need to talk about? Never mind, JJ. I'll wait for you in the hallway, baby. Baby? Yeah, yeah, I'll be right there. Look, you need to sleep and rest here. The doctor told you that to your face. I'm out of here. I'll see you later. What? Where are you going? Okay, hey guys, have you ever fallen off your bikes? Write about it in the comments. My first fall wasn't so easy, you know. I'm very curious. Why is it that the nurse is being so nice to Mikey? Maybe I should eavesdrop on what they're talking about. Hey, Mikey, we had a great time yesterday. Day. Why don't we go to my house tomorrow? Play with some toys together? I don't mind. I like you in general. Oh, what sweet words from a sweet baby. Oh, you're my sweetie. I'm capable of action as well as words. I'm ready for action. Oh, action. You and me, we're gonna have some hardcore action. Oh my god, they are two lovers. My brother's with some fancy nurse. Ew, that's awful. Oh, I heard something. What? JJ, he's been looking and eavesdropping on us. I've been spotted. Why isn't he in the room? Because he's an uncultured man. It's not nice to eavesdrop. Get back to your room. You're on bed rest. You can't get up. Go get some sleep, JJ. Uh, okay, okay. How they don't want anyone to know about them. Listen to me. You can't tell anyone that we're dating. Do you understand me? It's our secret. Honey, calm down. My brother can keep a secret. He won't tell anyone. Oh, whatever you say, sweetie. I hope your brother knows how to keep his mouth shut. He sure can. And you, JJ, don't tell anyone about this, okay? Okay, okay. Don't worry. I won't tell anyone about your love affairs. Thank you. Bye for now. Feel better. Bye-bye, Mikey. Oh my god, Mikey's only six years old and the nurse is 26. Is it even okay to do that? Four to six days later. You know what I mean? My brother's dating a nurse. And my brother's only six years old. I don't care. Get out of my car. Whew, I'm finally home. Thanks for the ride. Shut up already. You're a good cab driver. Even though he's not very polite. But that doesn't matter. I haven't been home in so long. I'm sick of this hospital. I hope my parents missed me while I was away. Or else they took a nice break from me. Hi, Mom. Dad, I'm back. That's why I need more money. Oh, JJ. Hi. Hello, son. We've got a surprise for you here. And it's not a bicycle, as you can see. Oh, that's so sweet. Congratulations on your recovery, JJ. This cake is the surprise. Congratulations to you. Thank you, Mom. Thank you, Dad. At least I won't get bruises from this cake. Huh, I hope so, too. By the way, where's Mikey? I don't see him at home. Has he gone for a walk or is he asleep? He's on a date with his girlfriend. He got a girlfriend while you were gone. 
What? Are you serious? This can't be happening. Hi, everyone. I'd like you to meet my girlfriend. Here she is. Hey, everybody. I'm dating Mikey. We love each other. Yes, that's my chick. Oh, my God, Mikey. Are you crazy? Mom, Dad, do you think this is normal? Uh, I don't really care about that. If they love each other, that's a good thing, isn't it? Yeah, JJ. You can envy me silently. Now I'm going to live with you. The next morning. I just woke up and my wife is in the kitchen cooking again. I should say hello to her and eat something out of her hand. It's been a long time since we've lived together and loved each other. Good morning, darling. Do you remember what day it is? Good morning, sweetie. Of course I remember. I even prepared a present for you, but it'll be a secret. Surprise? I love surprises. That's great. I also thought we should have guests over. Who do you want to invite to your birthday party? I think we can get Mikey and his wife. Haven't seen my best friend in a while. I just don't know if he's busy today. So let's get him on the phone. What if he doesn't agree or doesn't pick up the phone? I haven't seen him in a long time. What are you afraid of? One phone call won't stop him. He's your best friend. Go ahead and call him already. Come on, do it. Okay, okay, if that's the way you want it. What? You're the one who wants it. Shh, I'm dialing. Don't interrupt. Okay, 1337 and then 1312. That feels right. The last time I saw him, he locked me in a cage, but I forgave him. Anyway, you know what? I've been shot. I locked a man behind bars in my basement and then his gang showed up. Wow, Mikey, you are so cool. I've always admired you. I mean, you can be a little crazy sometimes, but you're so good. Yeah, it was fun. I took down that gang. Then they all apologized to me on their knees. I had a friend behind bars, but it didn't matter. It's been a while since I've seen him, so we should see how he's doing. I miss him. Okay, I think Mikey answered the phone. Hello, Mikey, hey, what's up? It's been a while since we've talked. Straight to the point. It's my birthday today, in case you remember. Hey, is it your birthday? Congratulations, JJ. Thank Thanks, Mikey. I'm inviting you and your wife to our party. Party! I love it. Okay, we'll be there. Thanks for inviting us. We'll be there soon. See you later, JJ. Okay, Mikey. We're waiting for you. Bye. Okay, I called them. They're coming to the party. Now we just have to set the table. Set the table? Uh, I think we're gonna have a problem with that. We have almost nothing in the fridge. You ate it all, JJ. Oh, really? What did you cook all the time then? I didn't cook anything. I kept ordering food and pretending to be busy. It doesn't matter. I have to go to the store and get some groceries. Potatoes, carrots, burgers, etc. And you, JJ, Go meet the guests without me. Clean your house and be a good boy. I'm your husband, not your son. It's just a joke. A harmless joke. Okay, don't forget the burgers. Mikey loves them. All right, all right, I'm out of here. Don't miss me and happy birthday again. Love you, honey. Love you too. Bye-bye, sweetie. I'll clean up and get everything ready for the party. This place really needs to be cleaned up. Do you guys like to celebrate your birthdays? When all your friends are in one place, write about it in the comments. I made a mega cool gift for JJ. Mikey said he had a speaker on his head, so he likes speakers, I guess. Sounds logical, doesn't it? Let him put another one on his head. All that's left is to package everything up in a festive box. That's it. That was easy. I would have gotten him some new computer, game console, or just money. But a regular speaker is so much more useful and cool. Mikey, I got my present ready. Where's yours? A gift. Yes, of course. That's the gift I ordered for him. He's going to be so surprised by this thing. Oh, wait. I have to pick up this order. I totally forgot about it. Honey, you go to them, and I'll go to the store and get a present. It's probably already here. Don't worry, honey. I'll be right there. Bye-bye. Don't miss me at the party. Bye-bye, darling. Don't worry. I won't get bored with JJ. With a gift like this, I'll be the most welcome guest at this party. I can see JJ playing some day baby on this speaker. I gotta get dressed. Let's go. Yeah. Hello again, everyone. As you can see, I'm getting ready for the party. Very busy, by the way. I'm so tired, you know. I'm supposed to have guests coming over. Oh, it could be them. Time to stop cleaning. Maybe they'll come in on their own. They won't. We have to open the door for them. You gotta be polite, you know? Oh, hey, you're Mikey's wife. Hey, JJ, happy birthday. I wish you to be a happy, good, and kind guy. Thank you so much. Come inside. Everyone will be here soon. You came first. Yeah, okay. It's so cozy and nice here. I don't get to parties very often. By the way, Mikey will be here soon. He's picking up a gift from the store for you. Whoa, that's great. I love presents. Have a seat in the kitchen. My wife will be here soon with holiday goodies. I love Yummy. You've cleaned up the place, I see. Good for you. Yes, thank you. I even built a fireplace. Look how cool it is. A fireplace? Oh yeah, it's really cool. And we have a fireplace at our house too. By the way, here's my present to you. I've been thinking about what to get you, and I thought this would do. Happy birthday, JJ. It's so selfish to come to a party like this without a gift, you know. Whoa, a gift for me. Thank you. I so rarely get gifts. That's very nice of you. You're welcome. You're the birthday boy today. Oh, that's so sweet. What's in the box? I can't wait to open it. But you'll open it when everyone gives you theirs. Come give me a hug, JJ. Happy birthday. Woo. My pleasure. I think I'm in time for the party. I hope they didn't forget about me. I got such a gift, the best gift ever. Not a big one, but so expensive. I paid $15,000 for it. Everything for JJ. Hey, 
everybody. Hope I'm not too late. How are you guys doing without me? What the? What? What? They're just standing there hugging my wife with JJ. They're hugging each other when no one's around. Hello. Can you even hear me? Will you stop it? Take your clothes off if you like it so much. Oh, what? Mikey, you in here? Hi. Yeah, JJ. I certainly didn't expect that from you. Cheating with my wife. You are such a nasty, horrible boy. No, 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 no. We're just... We just hugged for a second. I gave him a gift and... Don't make excuses. You two love birds. You've got it all wrong. We just hugged. Yeah, nothing more, Mikey. Shut up, both of you. I thought you were my favorite wife. And you were my best friend. Now you're nothing to me. Mikey, it's not what you think. Shut your mouth, you unfaithful woman. Mikey, please hear us out. Mikey, Mikey, wait. Nothing happened between us. You imagined it. Stop. No, JJ, I'm not stopping. I'm gonna have to tell your wife. Don't. Please, Mikey. Yes, I will. Where's your wife? Ouch. She went grocery shopping at the store. She'll be back soon. Why did you tell him that? Because I never lie. Mikey, stop. Let's talk. Nobody cheated on anybody. Stop, please. Told you for the hundredth time. I didn't cheat on anyone. Calm down, please. How insufferable and stupid you are. Cheater. With my wife. How could you? Your wife will obviously be happy with what was in the kitchen. Everyone should know about your adventures. So no one will ever want to love you again. Don't tell her. Nothing happened. Honey, he's got it all wrong. What? Your husband cheated on you with my wife exactly five minutes ago. In your house. While no one is looking. What? JJ, how could you? No, 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 no. It's not true. It's true. You're a freak, JJ. That's not true. Please listen to me, both of you. Nothing happened between us. You're a liar and a traitor. Mikey just imagined it. Please don't. Hit him again. I love you. I loved you. I loved you with all my heart. I married you. How could you? That's it. We're divorcing you, JJ. Goodbye. Sweetheart, Mikey, stop. You're all I've got. Please. You don't live in my house anymore. I bought it. You couldn't even pay for your own house. You miserable, pathetic JJ. Yeah, he is. It's over, JJ. You're nothing. I hope I never see you again. All the bad stuff. Come back. Guys, I need you. No one needs you. Oh my god, oh my god, I didn't do anything. How? They got it all wrong. I've lost everything. Where am I going? I lost my house. Six months later. Today I collected as many as 18 bottles and found a burger in the trash can. Lucky me. I'll turn in the bottles and I can buy more food. Then I can definitely survive. Maybe. Anyway, it's not my fault I'm here. Not mine. What a beautiful rainy day. Today I made $20,000 in 20 minutes. I'm so cool. Something stinks. It stinks really bad. Oh my god. It's JJ. He lives in a dumpster. That's horrible. No home, no wife. I feel sorry for him. I'm gonna go say hello. Maybe I can help him with something. He looks hungry. Even though he did a bad thing, I haven't seen him in six months. I've searched these bins three times now. There's no food in there, unfortunately. Oh, it's Mikey. Hello, old friend. Hey, Mikey, why are you here? You still haven't found a job. No, nobody wants me because the whole town found out what I did, even though I didn't do it. How do you even live here? It's very simple. I get in any car and sleep there. I eat out of the tanks. He can't eat out of garbage cans. But I don't have any other choice, Mikey. Oh my God, man, I feel so sorry for you. Yes, there are misunderstandings in life sometimes. I've made friends with a couple of rats. I named them my wife and Mikey, just like you. Yeah, that's funny. When was the last time you ate? About two weeks ago. Oh, so let me feed you. I'll take you to a restaurant. We'll sit and talk like we used to. Haven't seen you in a while. Oh, that sounds great. I agree. Do you have the money for it? Are you kidding? Of course I am. I could order the whole menu a hundred times over. Come on, don't be shy. Okay, since you're inviting me, I'm in. So cool. Here comes the food. Hurry up while it's hot. I'm paying for everything. Don't worry. Thank you so much. I've never been to such expensive restaurants, especially in the last half a year. I'm getting tired of looking for food through the garbage, you know. Totally unfair. Yeah, eat up. What? Not fair? It's your own fault for being here. You cheated. You swore allegiance to your wife at your wedding and then you put your hands on my wife. That's terrible. No, 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 no. You're wrong, Mikey. Listen to me. I was expecting you for your birthday that day. Your wife came over, gave me a present and just wanted to give me a hug. A hug. Nothing more. Then you came over and thought I was cheating. Are you serious? That's it? Oh my god, I'm so stupid. Please forgive me for not listening to you again. I made such a big mistake. Let me give you some money and get you off your knees. Okay, Mikey. God will forgive and so will I. That's cool. Glad it's all cleared up. I should tell everyone else that you're a good person and I got it all mixed up. Yeah, that sounds reasonable. Then finish it quickly. You need to be washed. Okay, okay. Let me finish. The next day. Hello again, everyone. I'm not poor anymore. Mikey called my wife and his wife to all make up with each other. There they are. JJ, hey, how long have you been waiting? Here we are. Hey, JJ. I hope we can live like we used to. Hi, honey. Please forgive me for not believing you. I'm so sorry. It's all right, darling. It's a good thing.
thing you made up with your wife and I made up with mine. How well it all ends. Everything was broken because of Mikey and it all came back together because of him. Yeah, Mikey made some noise. I'm also sorry for hitting you a few times. I'm sorry, JJ. Why don't we start over and you come back to me? Of course. Let's start all over again. I never stopped loving you and all of you. Yeehaw, we're back together. JJ, I love you. Oh, that's so touching. We'll listen to you more carefully from now on. Yes, I agree. Yeah, Mikey's right. It's all so confusing. It's just embarrassing that you spent half a year living in a dump, but whatever. You forgave us. It's too late to be upset. Yeah, you're right. There's no need to be offended. Friends, thanks for watching. Like the video. And subscribe to our channel. Be loyal and honest with your friends. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye. I ain't hold on to anything dragging me down. Wake up in the AM, say a prayer, then I leave out. Make sure when it come to us, the comments, they don't leave out. Yeah, I got my dogs in the back, better keep out. Oh, damn, yeah, we special. Start to the finish, and we reaching at the threshold. Run it while you young, one day you gotta get old. If it ain't good for you, more time you gotta let go.